all started three years ago with the MSP program. I, I learned how to um, do water quality analysis and so we started testing the creek and when I heard the city was considering pulling out the sewer line I thought wow wouldn't it be fun to build a model of that and number one have the kids understand the erosion and deposition but how it might affect themselves as well as the community. The big picture is when we're all done what data have we collected and would it be useful to share that data with the city council and Brian Elgin is the one that we've been emailing to about the land that the railroad may own next to the creek. This is where we do a lot of our water testing down on this site and the kids in the summer kind of play along the old sewer line. Really talk to the city about, gosh, you know, you really need to think about how you're gonna, what procedure you're going to take with this. It was an interesting discussion. Here are these six, 10 and 11 year olds having this pretty, um, adult conversation. And so this is a great tool to sit back and reflect on, hmm, what am I doing? Am I reaching all those, uh, all those targets or learning objectives? How am I questioning? That's what I really target a lot, is my questioning strategies. Am I taking them to a higher level of thinking? Am I challenging them? Based on your data, what points do you think they really need to know? What do you think they need to know? They need to know that there is like a lot of your where? So how is that going to affect our community? I know sometimes my kids are like, oh, all she does is ask us questions or why, what? But I want them to start making that a habit within their own lives. So they're constantly asking themselves why. That they're not just spoon fed the information and it goes in for a little while and then it's lost. Because I remember as a student myself, memorizing things for a test and then a couple weeks later I've forgotten it. I want it to be true learning. So I think really reflecting and making connections is where it has to be at. And so I want them to start doing that for themselves. I want you to start thinking about when, when did you have that aha moment? When did you make a connection and when did you start putting it in your file cabinet? Maybe it was prior to the lesson because you already, you know, you didn't discover anything new. Maybe during your discussion, you discovered that aha and filed it. Or maybe you're still not quite there yet. You're still not sure what deposition erosion is and whether that sewer line should be removed or not. Okay, any questions? When we come back, we're gonna wind it up because we still haven't wound it up.